Welcome to Anytime Readers, a storied escape. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click that notification bell. We Will Rock Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins Penelope was the only T-Rex in her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. And sometimes Penelope's classmates didn't see her at all. They just saw a dinosaur. Want to play cops and dinosaurs? You can be the dinosaur. Well, I was hoping to play dentist. Great, we'll be the dentist. You'll be the dinosaur. Have you been flossing? William Momoto's backpack is stuck in your teeth. Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read. Good night, tasty moose, all wrapped in bologna. Good night, tasty goose with a side dish of pony. Mmm, ponies. And she loved to draw. Wait, I won't eat you. I don't even have any mustard. But the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play guitar. Penelope loved to rock and roll. So when Miss Noodleman told the class about the school talent show, Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates, but could she do it? Also, the sign-up sheet was right next to Walter, the ferocious goldfish. Penelope took a deep breath. She had to do it. She tiptoed past Walter. Then, she quickly wrote her name with her bravest purple marker. After school, Penelope shared the big news with her parents. I'm going to wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look angry, but I'll actually be really happy. And oh, it's great to be so great! She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. She danced all the way to the bus. She even told her classmates about her favorite band, the Weevils. Best band ever, my dad used to go to all their concerts until he accidentally ate the drummer. At last, it was time for the rehearsal. Can dinosaurs even play the guitar? On stage, Penelope froze. She could not sing. She could not play guitar. She worried that dinosaurs could not rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want any more penny pie? You've only had 52 burgers. The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She would not play hopscotch. I'm a T-Rex, not a hopscotcher. She would not play Duck Duck Goose. I'm not a duck or another duck or a goose. I'm a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope crossed her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest blue marker. When Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay, he asked. I can't be in the talent show, she cried. I'm just a dinosaur. Ah, I see, said Daddy Rex. Come with me. Take a look at this family photo album. This is your Uncle Frank. He was a figure skater. Oh, and here's your mom finishing her first marathon. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I ate 5,053 hamburgers with ketchup. You see, said Daddy Rex, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. You, for instance, are kind and caring, creative and adventurous. And you can be anything you want to be. The next day at school, Penelope marched back over to the sign-up sheet. She looked straight at Walter and almost lost her nerve. But Penelope's classmates had a different idea. Can we play with you? In your band? Please, Penelope? And that gave her just enough courage. On the night of the show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. She peeked out from backstage to try to find her parents. When the curtains opened, William Omato and his amazing animal sounds took the stage. Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Then there was the Stegman Brothers' synchronized swimming mime act, followed by Martina Cortez and her dazzling card tricks. Your card was the Ten of Hearts, no? Was it the Elephant of Spades? Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. We are Penelope and the Mustard Seeds. Penelope was a T-Rex. She was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope Rex was a rock star. Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place, just behind Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. Mmm, ponies. The end. We hope that you enjoyed this story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click that notification bell to get updated with new videos. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.